Hello friends, Amanda here today, and I'm here to share with you how I made this really cute card using the new release from La La Land Crafts Wizard of Oz. I've taken the double stitched rectangles die and the on the wall layering stencil, and I've created a very slim street, and I'm taking Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink, and I'm just going to ink up the edges along with Vintage Photo to give it some depth. I used my Big Shot to make it a embossing type feel, so we've done that before. Taking the vintage photo and just kind of going along the edges just a little bit more to make it more vintage feeling. Just going around the edges ever so lightly. The stamp set that we're using is Over the Rainbow. This is the brand new clear stamp set from La La Land Crafts. In it is the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, the Bad Witch, the Evil Witch, however you want to say it, the Good Witch, and Dorothy herself with Toto. That's the one I'm coloring right now. And we have a lot of different sentiments. We're off to see the wizard. You can be whoever you want to be. Follow the yellow brick road. It's not where you go, it's who you meet along the way. We're not in Kansas anymore. Somewhere over the rainbow. Friendship is a together thing. It's all about the shoes. True courage is in facing danger when you are afraid. So, those are the sentiments that come along with this adorable kit. And in the description box below, I will have all of the colors that I'm using on my card. But for the colors that we're using for Dorothy, for her skin is E04, E13, E11, E00, E000, R22, R20, and R00. For her dress, it is B32. Her eyes are B29, B02. Her hair is E47, E44, and E33. Her shoes are R39, 27, and 24. Toto is the same color as her hair, E47, E44, and E33. So for her hair, I'm just going in with my darkest color first, E47, and I'm just flicking towards the center to give her that really pretty shampoo shiny hair. And I like using my darkest colors first. It's just what I do. You don't have to do it this way, but it's how I color. So just going at the ends and dragging that color. And then I will go in with E44 and drag out that darker color even more. And then I'll go in with E33 and finish it off. This new release comes with a lot of really beautiful dyes and papers. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, you should really do that because the papers are amazing. The paper that I'm going to be using for this card are poppy fields, and I love poppies, so this was perfect. But for this card, I chose to use a rainbow because, I mean, it's over the rainbow. Back to the coloring. I'm just dragging in that E33 just dragging it towards the center. She's so cute. So, just finishing up her hair and then we're gonna move on to Toto. And Toto's the same color as her hair, just E47, E44, and E33. And I'm just going in where his ends of his fur is, underneath his chin, and give him some eyebrows for a little bit more character and I mean he's just so cute now using the E44 and just dragging that color out just a little bit more I don't want to make him too dark so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the two darkest colors as much as I will be for the E33 And now 
the E33 and just finishing it up. For his nose and for his ears, I'm using R22 and R20. And just going around very carefully around his face. Just finishing up his little body here, getting all the little the little areas, being careful not to get her hands or on her dress. Giving him some cheeks, his nose, his ears. For her shoes, R39, R27, and R24. And then I add a little bit of dotting with a white gel pen and just a few dots with the darkest color here, R39, to give it some more depth. Let's talk a little bit about what this new release has. We have for the paper packs, Tales of Oz and Poppy Fields. For the stencils, we have Waz and Poppies. For the rubber stamps, we have Dorothy Marcy, we have Glenda Marcy, Wizard of Oz Luca, Wicked Witch Marcy. For the clear stamps, we have Over the Rainbow and Flying Monkeys. And for the dies, we have Tornado, which comes with a house, Poppies, Waz Glasses, Large Hot Air Balloon, Small Emerald City, large emerald city, red shoes, and two lollipops. That is a pretty decent sized release. And for this card, I used the hot air balloon, which I love hot air balloons, so it was perfect. Here you can see that I'm using the color for her dress, B32, and just using hash strokes across the dress to give it that pleated plaid Pleated? Not the right word. Plaid. That's the right word. Plaid feel. She's so cute. And now to give her her eyes, B29 and B02. Just going with my darkest color on top and then the lighter color on the bottom. Just taking a black pen and going across the top to give her some eyelids and then coloring in the black eyes. Isn't she cute? So fun. I've layered up all of the critters because I wanted everything on one card. So you stamp that out and then you make a mask and then you cover it up, so on and so forth. For the Tin Man, I'm using N5, N3, and N2. And I wanted him to look a little bit rusty around some of his hinge points. So I added the color E37 to that. Okay, I'm gonna add some music to this video. Um, I've been fighting a cold all week and my voice is starting to go. So we have some more things to talk about. So I'm gonna turn on some soft music and let you watch me color and I'll come back to the next character when we're ready.
All right, for our scarecrow, we are using the colors E41, E43. For his hat and for his pants and boots, it's E47, E25, and E35. For the straw, it's Y26, Y19, and Y06. And for his shirt, we're using G28, G07, YG17, and YG03. For his cheeks, we're using my go-to colors, R22 and R20. Super easy. And here's his shirt, that G28, G07, YG17, and YG03. Just going into the darkest shadow places with the darkest color first, dragging out some color, and then I'll go to the G07, drag that out further, and then the YG17 a little bit further, and then the YG03 and finish it off. Super cute. All right, I'm going to turn on some music again because my voice is starting to go and I'll catch you back when we get to the Cowardly Lion. All right, for our lion, we are using E47, E55, E23, E31, E50, E51, and his cheeks and ears, R22, R20, and R00. I'm just going into the darkest places first, using just a very light, light touch. I don't want to overtake his body with too much dark because I kind of wanted that to be a little bit lighter. So just going into the darkest places first, dragging up color as I go and so on and so forth. The E47 is just for his tips of his mane. I think the lion is my favorite, but I've always been partial to lions. So he is so cute.
using my lightest color on his face first, which is the E50, and then taking E51, giving him some shadows and some lines, very lightly. Now using E55 to drag out some more of that color. Like that. Sorry, that last color was E31. And then E47 for his nose and for the tips of his mane. <clears throat> Dragging out some color, giving him some flicks. All right, we're going to turn on some more music here and keep coloring. All right, we're taking the hot air balloon die and we're going to stamp it in a glittery white cardstock and then in a red cardstock. I'm going to do the same thing with the little banners that go swoosh over the front of the hot air balloon. I'm going to do it in glittery white and in red. I've cut the other pieces in two different colored browns, a lighter brown and a darker brown. The basket at the bottom is a darker brown and then the little sandbags and the ropes are the lighter brown. I'm just laying in the red cardstock inside the white glittery cardstock and then one of the extra white glittery pieces that I have I'm just going to glue to the back to keep everything in line. Gluing on the ropes and the basket. And then the sandbags. The little sashes are so cute. They line up perfectly. And then just adding the white glittery cardstock to the very top to break everything up. 
so nothing really disappears. I've added 3D foam to the back of my characters and just adding those on, just gluing the balloon straight to the cardstock and adding Dorothy. All of the measurements are linked in the description box below along with the Copic colors. Thanks for watching and come again. Thanks. Bye.